run. This is my one. This is going to absolutely transform Port Louis if it hasn't already. The smell coming off that is so good. Hi everyone, welcome to the Victoria Urban Terminal. It's massive. Well, here's the lift. Out of the lift and the windows. The massive windows. Oh wow, and it's got all the stone stuff. Oh, we're definitely going in there. Wow, it's actually going to be seven floors big. So you've got this area where the buses stop. I uh, assume you can connect from the metro to here as well. And lots of great clothing shops. Super trendy. One eye? Yeah. It's clothing. And the optometrist is not called One Eye. No. <laughs> one Eye does pretty cool clothing. I like it. Influencer. Oh, I mean, influencer. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, they've got really, really, really cute out, really cute outfits here. So you've got these gorgeous crocheted shot tops. Super cool clothes. Have a look at this. These are the jeans, right? And the shirts and everything. And this is the guy who's actually selling them. And he makes them himself. He has his own factory. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, where's your factory? My factory is nearby here. Nearby here in Port Louis? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. So made in Mauritius. There you go guys. TikTok, Facebook, everything. Yeah. Influencer.mru Belladonna. It's a massive shoe shop. Belladonna Instagram thing post for Mother's Day, I think. But it's just Ricky. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. They're going to go get a photo of her. This guy's a No, seen this is bad news. This is how you get <laughs> shoes now. Look how you get shoes. They've got a shop here, right? So you're like, oh, I really love these. You click on it, it's gonna tell you what, what sizes are available in store and what other colors are available. That is like super cool. And then I suppose you can just click on it and say, yep, that's, that's the one I want. That's what I want. It's like ordering shoes like a McDonald's burger now. Yeah, I love it. I mean, like look at all this and this is uh, ladies. We can check for men's as well. So, so the men's shoes here. You can oh, even look quite nice. search. Wow. Yeah, these are great. Look uh -huh. at that. And in store, that's the only sizes they've got. So if that works for you. 45, yeah. What luck. Awesome. And then someone will fetch it for you and you can try it on. Uh-huh. Have you ever? No. I love it. It just got better. They have a shoe polisher. That is oh, super man. Cool. I don't know if it can polish that sort of a shoe. Oh, it's going to dust it. Oh, <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> Oh wow, actually, look how it's cleaning. Oh man. Eh? Oh, look at this, look how dirty that is, right? Uh huh. And then we go. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Polishing dust. Done. <laughs> awesome. But let's go find food. Let's go find food, I'm angry now. That is an awesome clock. Oh, it looks like they're bicycle parts, cogs from bicycles, made up together to make a clock. So, walking away from the main street now into the center. Yes, you'll see this beautiful clock. Wow. We've got a quick silver. Back to the clock. So we got the clock here, but look at this. This is actually also going to be a clock. So one day they'll actually have a thing that they'll slot in and it'll actually be the clock in there. Oh, it's just decoration. Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> From the other side, the Belladonna actually has three shops. And it's very windy. I don't know if you guys noticed. There's a massive fan above us. Mom. Doesn't matter, boys can be mums too. Yeah. Okay, this just in mum says mum with which either side you're on. <laughs> That's cool, but anyway, check this out. It's a massive escalator up to the market area. Our usual mall suspects all grouped together as they should be Quicksilver, Island Hayes, and where is body and soul? Wow, it's a massive island haze. Wow. It's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. We're outside now. But this might be the original Victoria station that they moved from way up there and brought it here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be 
brick by brick, they brought it down here. And it does look great, and it has looked like it has been fixed up, but it's really, we don't know, because the stone looks right. Beautifully made old stone, put back together. This could actually be the Victoria Station. And maybe that's what's called the Victoria Urban Thing, because after the station, and they got some shops in it now. Oh, wait a second, there's more to it. Just past the Mapu tree. There's more. Oh, that's a bench. Yeah. What a cool place to come discover. Oh wow, if it's not the Victoria Station, it is definitely a beautiful old building. Look at the size of the stones on those lintels. You can make benches out of them. Oh man, the stonework is brilliant. Alright, artisan coffee. Looks like we're getting into food areas. And then it says fresh tea. Let's <laughs> say fresh tea. <laughs> and some plans. Enjoy your day. <laughs> oh man, could this building get any better? Have a look at this. It's an actual arch. Or oh, whatever shop's going to be in there is going to be the best shop in the world, probably. Because that is cool. It's going to give you guys a quick little 360. So you can feel where we are. And I love how there's a this real, real old school feel of this terminal, and then there's super modern, <laughs> there's super modern shops and everything contrasted with it, and a metro. It just sums up Mauritius and Port Louis in one location. There's fresh tea and juice, cocoa. It says back there's the terminal. I think we're at the end of it now. Well, the end that's been built for now. That's there. But I'm wondering, what is it? Tabazi. Lager. 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 Oh, they sell beer. Let's go check it out. It. Turns out Tabazi, contrary to their name, does not serve beer. <laughs> or lager. <laughs> but they got snacks. Well, if I didn't cut out Ricky's because it was too windy, turns out she was right. 1864. Victoria building. And they built it brick by brick correctly. Well done, Rick. <laughs> just up there's the line barracks and a part of Port Louis that we actually did a video so I'll put a card but just swing you around this is another way in and this is probably the best entrance because you get the old building and the trees and everything street art at the bus stop they got quite a lot of street art here so the guys have actually come and painted up the walls and then they put TVs over it. <laughs> I didn't actually notice this. This one's by a Stephanie. But they've actually put the, the name on here. This painting is called The Dreamcatcher. Also by a Mauritian artist. They do have some ATMs here. And as you can see, it is still an urban terminal. It is actually a bus terminal. There's buses on that side. Brian, shops, and more buses on that side. Time to head upstairs. You can go upstairs or up the escalator. Guess which one I'm choosing. <laughs> of course I am. Look at that huge fan. That is a massive fan. Oh, it's pretty cool up here. Oh, wow. Loads of big fans. Up here we've got a chat time, artisan coffee, a Metro Express. And a place you can sit and actually um, eat whatever you've got. Something definitely smells meaty and yummy. It must be here. It's got to be here somewhere. Maybe at the end. There's something at the end we missed. Maybe. Stand under the massive windmill. <laughs> it's not even a fan anymore. It's a windmill. The Metro Express. Oh, and there are things back here. A chicken corner. I'll see that in a minute. Oh, this is Penny Puri. So you've actually got a... A, a penny puri place here. Yeah? Get some penny puri. It's chicken corner. They have a hot dog meal and kebabs and things. And this is the iconic walkway that we've pointed out so many times driving through Port Louis. 
And look at it, it's amazing. We'll go check it out more after we've had something to eat. This is the market, and here it is, and well, we're gonna walk through it, and maybe this is where the smell's coming from. Oh, roti. Uh, they make the roti here. Well, it looks like, a, I'm gonna guess, dal puri, but they've also got some chicken that you can get on bread. Awesome. And a load of other things. Well, the guy actually shaves us here. So he's got an ice shaver and ice cold frozen drinks. Oh man, those look quite good. There we are, nice looking bullet. And there's soup at the back. Oh, and what's this? Oh, it's noodles. So you can get some noodles here as well. Thank you. Well, the queue is here. Mutton halim and probably fried noodles. Boy, here, look at that. A little bit of pepper. And it's done onto the plate. Oh, Master Chef, on to the next person. A little bit of lamb on top. And they're ready. Oh, he's dipping it in. And then just chucking it into the oil. What is that? It's chicken. Oh, I get it. You add that, and then it gets this foamy crust on. Here yeah, they're coming. Oh, looking so good. Oh, wow. Hot and fresh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, these are the big ones going in. Oh, man, that's exactly what I'm getting. Wow, that is massive! A little bit of sauce and some salad. Yeah, salad. How much is this? And kibbe, huh? Sixty. This is sixty rupees. And there it is. There he goes. This is my one. Aha! It's good. Looks good. Smells so fresh. Yeah. Okay. It's good, thank you. Chili, tomato, mayonnaise. A, a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of chili. Good. Perfect, perfect, thank you. That's the halim. Oh wow. The smell coming off that is so good. Oh, oh, oh. Ricky has chosen the world's smallest bowl for our halim. Oh, but we still get pieces of meat in it. Oh, and the gravy. Wow. Busy waiting for a noodle, but look what's here. It's the halim. And this is a proper halim because you can't get it meat later. No, no, this has to be meat cooked in and you can meat see it's bone. Meat has to be cooked in. Oh, wow. Oh, and it smells amazing. And you get, this is a small bowl because this is just a starter and a bread for 43 rupees. 43 rupees? Yep. That is an actual lot of halim for 43 rupees. <laughs> oh, the very large bowl is only 45 rupees. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, there is an eating area in this part of the market as well, and it looks great. Ricky being a little ingenious because it's too hot, you have to put it in the bread tub. <laughs> We're going to go, we'll come back for our noodles. Thank you. We found a spot. Yeah. On a sharing table. <laughs> oh, you're getting the inside. Because mm -hmm. I don't eat much, so you gotta go for the good bits. Oh, this is still popping hot. <laughs> it's still too hot. Oh, my way. Wow. 
Is that what we've been smelling? Is it the mutton that smell? Mm. I don't think the halim, I think it's from the noodle, but this okay. is amazing. Oh, that lovely spiciness and the gluey, sticky, meaty notes and that um, cracked wheat. Such a treat. Oh, man, I just noticed something. So we got the halim there, we got Ricky there. And then behind her, out that window, that's, that's a mountain. Oh, I love Helene. Oh, this is a really good one. Mm. I reckon they're competing with the blue hat on this. I think so. Okay, it's just so good. It just sucks off. Mm. Oh, this is why I love Helene. And if you don't get these, you're not getting the real Helene. Have a look at that. It is a massive piece of chicken. That is a massive piece of chicken. 60 rupees. I'm, I'm just going to dig in. Go for it. That's a meal. That is a big meal. Mmm, nice flavour. Mmm, can you smell it? Oh, I can because I've been smelling it since we got here. And the noodles are with the lamb. It's um, 85 rupees. Let's see if they're any good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Victoria Terminal noodles, worth it. Mm. Wow. Smoky yum. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot in there. That's a big pile of noodles mm -hmm. for 85. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sucking the marrow out of this one. Enjoy. Try some noodles. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. The smokiness. Very smoky. It must come from the meat. Yeah, yeah. Because the meat is what we smelled when we first got in here. I was like, it smells like meat. I, I think it was cooking it at that point. Yes, it and was. And just permeating the whole place. It did. And now he's just adding it to the noodle. And we tracked it down mm -hmm. with our noses. <laughs> That's what I came for. What is going on here? <laughs> no, I'm making, I'm making a, 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 a Helene sandwich. A Helene boat. A whole year. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Bread was tougher than I thought. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this reminds me of like the Pakistan hotel where they got all this, just get in there, uh -huh. scrape up all the juices. Clean bowl policy. Clean bowl policy. Never send back a plate they have to watch. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're so considerate. <laughs> <laughs> Clothing. Beautiful clean ladies' bathrooms. Okay, so the guys' toilet is out here on the main one. You have the ladies on this side, but it is marked from the inside area that this is where the ladies is. Okay, you can't take it from the first floor. Yeah. Cool, well discovered. Uh -huh. So you got a, a hair salon in the middle and no clothing. Over here is Ipanema. Cool shoes. Guy doing massages. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what do you usually up there? Uh, only my shoulder, this one. The camera shoulder. Yeah, where I hold the camera. Oh, it's pretty cool. The oh, it's got a spinal one. Oh, wow, oh, look at that thing there. Oh, wow. I can actually feel that I've got some pain in my back. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that's good thing. <laughs> Oh wow, I don't know if you can see, I'm just so chilled. Thanks to my here and hustle flow guys. 
feel it. Oh man, all those nuts gone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brian's now way too chilled. We've got Greenwich. Not that chill. <laughs> Check out all these retro radios. They're really cool. Yeah, so you can put a memory stick or anything in it. I don't know. It looks like it has a real oh, dial. Yeah. Genuine radio. Old school <laughs> radios. Okay, the Ipanema store is actually called Ibiza. Ibiza. It gets even better. <laughs> <laughs> Looking to start a new habit? They got you covered. Wow, check out the store. <laughs> it's called Wow. Wow. My kind of store. So it's pretty cool. It actually has like kind of an airport vibe almost that tell you the buses, the numbers, what routes there are. And then the buses are right here. Someone's going to go here. Florida tools, Florina tools. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like you're gonna crash into that big helicopter. <laughs> and they've got this giant photograph of the old Victoria Station, the one that they built outside. Oh man, you can actually see it where it used to be. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Alright, so at the market there are food retailers, wet retailers and dry retailers. So there's a very big market area, not everyone's moved in yet. Kindling for fires. Wow. Bonjour. Bonjour. He said this is the coconut root. Yeah. You drink and it for your health. Oh, you drink it for your health. And these as well? He's the medicine man. He's got all sorts of medicine. Yeah, he got the medicine. Oh, wow. This one is called artichoke. The artichoke. Artichoke. Yes. It's good for your health. For the diabetes. For diabetes and yes. all sorts of medicinal things. Oh, have a look at this. Loads of things. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Yes, really? Thank you. It's very interesting. <laughs> there are quite a few stores that are not full yet, but the ones that are here are just like the normal prices, which is awesome. And it's really good stands. In fact, it does give way here. To clothing, so we're going into the clothing section which has more of these things. Oh, and they've got more foods here. Yeah. So if you have a look, oh, we have pickles and some foods here. But I saw something around the corner that we're just going to go quickly check out. Oh wow, there is. I did see biryani. So he has a huge pot of biryani. Oh, it's all almost finished. finished. Oh, it's, finished. <laughs> it's all finished. Look here. Oh wow. Biryani, all finished. All finished. Very good biryani. Oh, it must be very Thanks good biryani. <laughs> so it's here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and look, properly cooked with the bread around. Proper, properly we'll cooked fish, biryani. Fish, chicken, and veg biryani every day. Fish, chicken, and veg every day, guys. Wow. But get you early. Get you early because it's all finished. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. So there you go. Biryani, stand DA1 or Sedan Sticks. Come find it. We got some samosas. You're going to try one, Rick? Because she ran out of biryani, so we couldn't try her biryani this time. So we, we got some samosas instead. Good samosa. That's a great samosa. Oh, wow. Ricky says this competes with the, the Blue Hut Lady and Perry Bear. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that for a second. Try it. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Crunchy. Stuffed with chicken. Stuffed with chicken. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. there you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is the best. That is the best Mauritius nut, for sure. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, guys, if you know, you know. you got to listen to the crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Uh-huh. Mm. That's a great samosa. What a great find. You can smell it. It's sweet popcorn. Actually, caramelized sugar popcorn. And especially for Mama Bolton Keaton in Switzerland, there is Dolpuri. 
There are a lot more clothes and things down there, but there's also another level. So we're going up to level whatever this level is. It's the more industrial level. It's going to be more market? It really is going to be huge. Wow, there's a place for a lot of market stands here. A lot. This is going to absolutely transform Port Louis if it hasn't already. All undercover, all air conditioned. Wow, can you imagine when this is all filled with people? This is probably one of the last times you'll see it like this. For sure. Where all the people move in. There are quite a few vistas where you do get why they call this a terminal. Because it is. It's like an airport terminal. It's huge. Okay, across the highway. Can you actually see the highway? You can. And that's the highway over there. Through the grating. Cool colours. Uh -huh. <laughs> so in theory this will take us out to the Metro Express, Cordan, the harbour and the waterfront. But this just takes you out. This just brings you into the heart of I don't know what part of Port Louis this is, the cold Victoria, air. Victoria Alban awesome terminal area. And look, there's the old train station. <laughs> awesome. And the new one. And for those who don't want to go down the stairs, there's actually a lift here as well. It really is awesomely, awesomely cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really nice tiles around the edge. It's like brightly colored and with the, the neutral like yeah. standard. Well done, well done you guys. Whoever designed this knows what they're doing. They really do. Oh, I love how they've used the old stone, the old mill stones. And you can see at the end and winners, they've also got it. They've, they've really done it well. This now is officially my favorite winners of all time. Have a look, like the cave, it's got the stone walls. But if you look up, uh-huh, they've got the shuttered windows. What does it lead to? Oh man. But Le Cave, ha <laughs> it's where the juices are, in the cave. Oh wow, it just got better, look at this. They've got the pillars, this is where the bread is. And they've got these old pillars. Oh man, and the veranda. And, and someone's actually, you can go up there into that room up there. I didn't even see the breads. Look at it. Do you think it's real? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like real bread, but maybe it isn't, or because it does look like it wasn't perfect. The fate of bread. Oh man, such good breads. They look real. They actually do look real bread. In this, it feels like you're in Italy, but in Mauritius, Italy. I don't know <laughs> if that makes sense. Sugar mill Mauritius, Italy. <laughs> I don't know. And you can actually look through the window where they're actually baking the bread. They actually look like they're having a good time in there, all smiles and things. Right out here where the bread is. This is actually a really cool design. Because they've kept the shelves low, it feels much more open. Like back there they've got the closed shelves. I mean it's still got a high ceiling and everything. But because this area is all low, it feels big and open. In Port Louis, Victoria Urban Terminal. There you go, near the line barracks. And if you want to find the parking, you come down this road. Wait, let me show you. This line is the barracks. line barracks. This is that road. And that we're road. approaching the Victoria Urban Terminal. Now we should be able to, in theory, turn here. And there should be a parking. And there should be a parking. Let's so there's see. no entry except buses. Take the next one. Oh, there's a shell garage. Pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian crossing. Uh, now, in theory, there should be a parking on our left here. Yeah, maybe it's done. This doesn't. Maybe? Oh. Like a construction site. I don't know. It says parking rates. Okay, someone's having a good squiz. Yeah. Looks like a parking. Okay, so there's a guy that's going to explain it to us and maybe give us a timestamp ticket. Yeah. Okay, so he was just a security guy who actually knew us. Yeah, it was so awesome. Chatting to him for ages. He's giving us a bit of advice. 
And so uh, now somebody here will give us a ticket without yeah. a timestamp. Very official parking ticket with the time on it. And um, parking's we, on the third floor. And so we get to drive around Port Louis a bit. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, not Port Louis, what's it there? A brand new parking arcade. Yeah. Mmm, new parking arcade smell. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like cement, trick. Oh, great views from there. It there. is. We're going to have to get some. Oh, we're on two only. Oh, we must Round. be towering over Port Louis. Walker's delivery area. Huh. I'm hoping they've got bathrooms somewhere. They must we do. We shall it's a see. New fancy place. Oh, uh -huh. getting a little dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, you can see we're almost as high as Signal Mountain. Yeah, we're really, really high up. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Who needs a drone? Uh huh. Level three. Okay, you could technically just drive out into the edge of the <laughs> building there, but cool. Let's go find a parking. Well, this is from the parking. That over there is the Cordan. I'm just going to swing you around so you can see the air. This is the harbour. It's actually quite nice views up here. And of course, there's the metro line. And that's the walkway into Victoria Urban Terminal. Wow. Victoria Urban Terminal. It's a place. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.